Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the electrical guide. Today, I want to show you a couple different types of common cable that you might want to use and some details about it. You know, where we can use it, what it can be used for, uh, when it can be installed. And I'll show you a couple pictures. So I've got my first page here. I've got a nice neat chart showing a couple different types of cable some thermo set insulated conductors up here thermoplastic insulated conductors now just quickly let's make this really clear the word cable and the word conductor don't really mean the same thing necessarily a cable is technically a bunch of conductors together under a jacket whereas an insulated conductor could just be a single wire not necessarily a collection of wires or conductors inside a cable, but a single. So first thing, let's talk about RW90. Pretty common stuff. You see it right here. And it's got check marks where you're allowed to use it. Uh, dry, damp, wet, 90 degree rated. That's the maximum conductor temperature, of course, unless otherwise marked. It can be used consumer services, feeders, branch circuits, control, class two. It can't be exposed, however, or concealed, but it can be in raceways, can be in cable trays, can be exposed to sunlight under certain conditions, and can be outdoor overhead as well. So that's just how we read this chart. I've also got T90, very common, T90 nylon. Also can be used in most places, not wet locations though, but definitely dry and damp locations and in raceways. Moving on, let's talk about some non-metallic sheath cable or some NMW. Now usually when there's a U in the designation, that stands for underground, which makes sense because we're good for wet, damp, dry and we're good for concealed locations as well. So this is good for underground with the U designation. Bunch of other types here, not so common. Cables, not having a metal armor or metal sheath. Extra low voltage cables are maybe even more common. Let's talk about LVT. LVT cables usually used for maybe a thermostat or maybe your doorbell. Um, dry, damp. Not good for wet, not good for a couple different uses either. Exposed, concealed, and raceways are all okay, and cable trays is okay, and plenums is okay. Even exposed to sunlight under certain conditions. LVT, very common. Moving on to fire alarm and signal cable. FAS cable is pretty common. I've definitely used it before for fire alarm installations. You can see there's a couple different types, unarmored. Uh, armored without jacket and armored with jacket. Here is the FAS unarmored first. 60 degree here, good for most places and most conditions. Here's the FAS with armor, also good for, you know, most places, most conditions. Moving on to AC90, one of the most common styles of cable. Cables having a metal armor, this is AC90. This is used to maybe feed your furnace, or you're going to see this used a lot in commercial settings for lighting and stuff up in the ceiling. Not good for sunlight or burial, though. Also not to be pulled in raceways. Tech 90, also one of my favorite styles of cable. This stuff's pretty durable. You can see it's pretty much good for everything. It's got check marks all the way down. I do have a video on how to strip Tech 90 as well. You're welcome to check that out in the link in the description. Moving on, most of these cable types are not very common. I'm not going to talk about any of the high voltage cabling because this is pretty uh, exotic stuff. You definitely need some uh, licensing to work on these cables. But perhaps uh, an RC90 would be common. Also good for most uses in most locations. And then coming to the end here, communication cables. Some of these are very similar to each other. Just to pick one at random, CMP cable is pretty common. Um, I'm sure you've seen this before. It's pretty delicate stuff. It's not good for most uh, applications. Definitely can't be wet. Obviously, you're not using communication cables for feeders or consumer services or branch circuits. 
but it is good for class two in raceways is good exposed concealed and in plenums as well that's free air in the plenum space is allowed so there's a few different cable types hopefully that opened your horizons to where you can and can't use the different cable types that you might run into thanks for watching another short video with the electrical guy